Oh, uh, so I, I got into astrology because I was uh, studying Nostradamus and his prophecies and his predictions, and I realized as I was studying them that he, he used astrology to date some of these predictions. And he would say, you know, Saturn and Taurus and Jupiter and Cancer and Mars and Sagittarius, and that would get a very, get a very specific date or a time frame. So I started studying astrology through that in order to date those, those predictions. That led to the study of natal astrology and studying birth charts, and realizing that there was something very, very strange going on, and something very complex and advanced, and that uh, it was something that, you know, was a complete surprise to me. But it was really pleasant, pleasant surprise. How did you find out about Kepler College, and what has your experience been by going there? Um, I, I, I found out about Kepler uh, about two two years into my studies, and. Uh, I saw it online. At the time, I was a dropout. I was. I, I started studying astrology when I was 15, and very quickly I was reading astrology books in classes a lot more than I was reading the the books that I should have been reading in classes. And at, at one point, I realized that there wasn't really any point for me to be there. Um, I wasn't going to be able to go on and continue my studies in astrology uh, in, in college, and I didn't really have any interest in doing that. So I just wanted to. to leave school and to focus on astrology, and so I did, and I, I dropped out of high school, and I was about, you know, two years into that, and I happened upon Kepler's website uh, one night, and I just became really excited that there was a school out there uh, where I could actually study in a, a really academic and serious environment with some of the best teachers and the best astrologers in the field and study what I was passionate about, so I went back to high school and uh, for another year or two, and I, I finished my diploma so that I could get into Kepler, and, and then I did, and, and I went to, to Kepler for three years, and, uh, and it was amazing. It, was, it completely changed my life, uh, just being able to study with you know, famous astrologers like Demetra George, and Dennis Harness, and Robert Hand, and Nick Campion, um, and so on and so forth. So at Kepler, what Kepler kind of instilled in me was the importance of history and the importance of philosophy and thinking about uh, the deeper issues in astrology and thinking about the history and how it developed and where it came from and what its origins are and and that eventually led to my study of Hellenistic astrology and wanting to understand the origin of our tradition and where it came from and what the original principles were and how those original principles might complement uh, astrology and where it is today. And from that context, uh, could you give a definition of astrology to someone who's just learning about it or is interested? Um, like, how would you define astrology? I, I define astrology as the attempt to understand the correlations that are, the, cor the attempt to understand and interpret the correlations that go on between uh, celestial events with the planets and the stars and earthly events with, like human, human beings and events on earth and everything else. But it's basically just studying uh, patterns and things and studying correlations, uh, seeing that there's some sort of external objective uh, concept of, fi of fate, or, or that there is some sort of fate or some sort of notion of predetermination in the world is kind of opposite to the modern understanding of, of free will and understanding of where we are in the universe. And knowing that the, the way I see it is like seeing that the universe is sort of acting in tandem with humanity and is sort of following uh, or mirroring our actions down here. It's something that's actually kind of reassuring more than it is uh, oppressive or, or depressing. 